Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. Our first guests of today, uh, they're getting you ready for an event that celebrates kinship caregivers. The inaugural Caregiver Gala will be hosted by the Kindred Heart of South Carolina. That's a nonprofit that uh, sacrifice that shares about the sacrifices of kinship caregivers. Joining us today to talk more about this event and how you can get involved is Dr. Kimberly Jaha and Amy Jeffcoat, thank you so much for being here today. Thank, thank you so you. much for having us. So let's start off talking about your nonprofit. Tell us uh, why it was founded, when it was founded, and the importance of it. Sure thing, one of my favorite subjects. Mm -hmm. um, we are a nonprofit, as you stated, that serve kinship caregivers. That's the grandparents, aunties, uncles, um, family friends who are obligated or have obligated themselves to serve or take care of the kids um, of their kin. Um, our purpose is to make sure that the caregivers themselves, number one, have what's <coughs> necessary for them to be okay. We like to say if the caregivers aren't okay, then the children in their care won't be okay. Mm -hmm. And so as they, uh, we interact with them, we learn more about the needs of their family and about the needs of the children that are in their care. Our mission is to make sure that they have access to the resources that they need for them to be safe healthy and for their entire family to thrive. Thank you so much for breaking that down so beautifully. Uh, Amy, being that you all work closely with these caregivers, what are some personal stories that you hear from them about the need for help? Yes, ma'am. I am actually, I work closely with the caregivers. Mm -hmm. I am also a caregiver myself. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm what you call a fictive kinship caregiver, which is non-related. Um, it's a family friend situation, acquaintance. Um, so I've been a caregiver for about going on four years now. Um, so I work with the caregivers and I've experienced it myself. Mm -hmm. So I've seen um, the difficulties that they have, the challenges that they have, and the rewards that are also in it as well. Yeah. Um, but it, it's, it's a hard journey. And, and, and what makes it difficult? At some, I mean, I know that's not everyone's story, obviously, mm -hmm. but what are some examples of what makes that a difficult thing to do? Um, kinship, when um, you take in maybe one or two children, in my case it was two, mm -hmm. um, we took them in overnight. Um, sometimes you, you just think that um, you may get help, mm -hmm. and then when you realize that um, you, you are not getting any assistance, um, whether it be um, financially or emotionally, or just in general, when you're taking care of your own children, you've raised them from birth. Right. Um, when you are taking care of someone else's children that you get midway through life, um, you haven't known them for the first 11 years or seven years of their life. Uh, so you're coming right in the middle mm -hmm. and you will have a lot of things you don't know. So there's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of classes that we do. Um, there's counseling that's involved. You have trauma related things that are involved with kids. Um, there is so much. We could probably list, you know, a ton of things that um, kinship caregivers really need the resources for. Um, it is not just financial, it is, um, you know, consistency, it's just stability and, and how to do things. And all kind of support. Thank you so much for uh, painting that picture because I really want our viewers who may have no idea what you're talking about mm -hmm. and can't relate, I want them to know the importance of it because whether you're a kinship caregiver or not, this event and this gala that's coming up on September 30th, everyone can support this cause. Tell us more about that. Dr. Most John. definitely. September is Kinship Care Month. Mm -hmm. And so we're starting September off, September 1st on Friday. We are dedicating ourselves to God, number one, yeah. because that's our foundation. And then we are dedicating our services to the community. We know that community is what works. September 30th, we are closing Kinship Care Month out with a little time of respite for our kinship caregivers. Mm -hmm. If you ask many kinship caregivers, say, what do you need? They say, a break. I need a break, <laughs> yes, right? Yes. And so we want to offer that um, to them with the help of the community. September 30th, 7 to 11 p.m. at Adventure. This time will be um, a space for our community to see who and why we serve. And this is going to be an entertaining night. Uh, what can yes. everyone expect? 
expect when they show up on September 30th? We have some great entertainment. You know what? Amy is um, not only a kinship caregiver, she's also our board member and the chair of our fundraising Amy, now committee. Amy, what do you not do? <laughs> You're I'm a not. woman of many hats. <laughs> that is sure. amazing. So what, what kind of entertainment are, are folks needing um, to expect? We will have entertainment. We will have um, food, drinks. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, sponsorship levels. So okay. we will have tables that can be sponsored um, that we would love the community to help us with. We're reaching out to businesses and um, just anyone in general that might want to sponsor a table. Um, we also welcome donations. Um, we would like our caregivers to have tickets to this event. Mm -hmm. And in certain times, they can't always afford to do that. So if the community can help us out with um, getting donations and sponsorships, we will have a bulletin, a book at the gala mm -hmm. that will show your business name and that you have supported us. And for a good uh, for a good cause, right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's amazing. So and when you're donating this money, know that is a part of it. You know, it's helping the caregivers rest, but it's also going back to helping them with the resources and keeping your nonprofit up and running. We exactly. want to pull up all the information on our screen so you can be in the number at the inaugural Caregiving, Caregiver Gala. There we go. That is hosted by Kindred Hearts of South Carolina, an amazing nonprofit doing some great work. It's going to be at Adventure Children's Museum right there on Gervais Street. Saturday, September 30th from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tickets are $50, but as you heard them mention, if you would like to donate, if you would like to sponsor, all you have to do is reach out to Kindred Hearts. And how do they do that? We are at kindredheartssc.org, or you can give us a call at 803-553-7277. Ladies, thank you so much thank for coming you. on the show thank today. Thank you so 